Yes, sir. Let's get some claps in here, man. We at home. Yeah. I got family in the building. Great, Rizzy. We out here. Shade 45 is the grind setters. I wanted to... Uh, actually wanted to have this conversation a long time ago, man. I actually have these conversations personally, and I've been waiting to be able to introduce this cat to you guys, my family over here on Shade 45, and, and just for the stats sake, we, we have uh, 40 million subscribers on Sirius XM. I got about 3 to 5%. See, he's a numbers guy, so he understands that. And it's very important that you hear what this guy has to offer, because he's super talented and one of the realest cats I know in the business. Cash Cow Romo's in the building. What's up, man? Yeah. How are up, you, man? How are you? Thank you for making your way out here to New York City. Yeah, man. Thank you. I appreciate you. Appreciate New York. I appreciate your staff, everybody, man. Um, I'm doing I'm doing good, you know what I'm saying? Um, I would just say I'm blessed, for real, you know? For you have, like, this Lenny Kravitz cool shit going on right now. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't understand. Usually we're joking and shit, but now lights and, you know, yeah, microphones. Yeah, you know, you're cool as a motherfucker <laughs> right now, baby. I love it. I love it. Let's talk about this, man, because I want people to have a little bit of background about you. Um, I don't think... I'm trying to think, have I ever met anyone from Pittsburgh? No, not before yourself, not before Herb. I've never known anybody from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. More importantly, Brownsville, even though I <laughs> shout that out a lot now because yeah, of you guys. Yeah, yeah. I know you've heard that, but, uh, you know, you're, you're based from out there. And, you know, tell me a little bit about growing up out there, you know, just musically, especially in, in growing your profession as an artist out there. Yeah, um, I think it's, it's like, it's a gift and a curse, I, I think life operates that way for the most part but you know we we 50 miles south of pittsburgh and it's like a little rural spot you know what i'm saying so it's called fayette county so there's like uniontown brownsville you know republic and then there's a couple spots in between that which are like manesson duquesne mckeesport all that it's you know <clears throat> it's if you go there you'll feel like it's a time capsule for real because a lot of stuff is still like is it like small town yeah, usa yeah very okay. very small town usa type swag so the disadvantages of that doing music is especially before the internet there's really no outlet you had to like go out and get it you know what i'm saying um so that that was like a really uh, a tough thing to overcome trying to do music but i would say that the positive in that though is like you kind of got your own character and then as you can see like my name cash cow roma i kind of like i'm really bro the funny shit is me and my man we talk about it i'm really a harlem baby even though i'm not from new york like i really you gotta explain this because like, people, people want to rap bro was mace bro and i okay. see mace with that wavy hair with the rollies and the uptowns and shit i was like yo he's the closest thing to a drug dealer like you know what i mean that's mm -hmm. like not mm -hmm. a drug dealer but like was that lit so um you know i appreciate that but i turn where i'm from almost on like how nelly is like cash cows because like where we at is rural you know what i'm saying so that's part of the inspiration is like the cows cash cows so, so let me let me ask you this question because i know somebody's probably thinking it they're listening right now and uh -huh. they'll be able to see this very soon there's actual cows near where you live <laughs> facts okay all right, all yo right. Hey, yo free my cousin lump on some real shit the funniest shit you will ever hear oh bro my God. Is, what did lump is do, cow tipping bro whenever i first i used to live in a city right for at a point in time i lived out out east over here by like philly i lived in Reading, pa and uh, i went back with some fresh prince shit like i went and live with my aunt and you know i was with my badass cousins you know what i'm saying in the country he's like yeah man we go cow tipping i'm like cow tipping like yeah we literally knock over the cow i'm like yo y'all niggas is wild wow. you know what i'm saying did you did you did you no, go i didn't partake i, I didn't mean partake. I is there like statute of limitations you could tell me yeah. bro it's only a couple million motherfuckers listening yeah, we won't yeah. say nothing yo, we nah. won't say nothing yo on everything bro it's to i love cows in the in in the whole culture of the cows so much i literally i think it was like probably 14 months ago or so i was gonna buy a baby cow bro like I you should go buy cows. a fucking cow I, I love yo bro i set it up everything i was trying to have like a little cow daycare i was trying to get him like a bb simon cowbell you know what i'm saying i was i was going through the whole movie this is bro. way deeper than i ever thought yeah, i had bro. no fucking idea people yeah. i had no idea but this is what i want to do i want to get to some music real quick because that's what you're here for man i want to make sure people hear this and i believe for for this video it did really well a lot of people virally they picked up on it and you yeah. see the cow in the video for go right yeah 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 so look turn this up man uh, i got cash cow romo in the building i want your feedback right now all right tell them real quick where they can hit you up on twitter and instagram yeah so on uh instagram it's 
R zero M zero on Twitter is Pyrex Press. Yeah, yeah, make sure you hit them up. Give them the feedback. This this go shit. I ain't gonna lie. I fucked with this song. It was the DDT. What what's the move in the, in the wrestling? Yo, joint? What yo. is it? All right, you can you gotta see the video for all that. <laughs> we'll be right back. We gonna play this song. It's Great Rizzy Cash Cow Romo in the building. We out here. Shade forty five on the ground setters. Chill. We right back at it. Applause from all the people out there. Shout out to everybody listening on Shade 45. We out here with Cash Cow Romo, man. Mm-hmm. So, you know, we were just talking about cows and you're, uh, you're, you're utterly in, um, impressed with them <laughs> in, in so many different ways. But that, you know, that, that you kind of, you, 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 you went ahead and built in it. You, you mm-hmm. built it in, man. You went ahead and built that into the brand and you owned it. Yeah. So, you know, when it comes to what you're doing right now, Musically, mm-hmm. I do want people to know, you know, it wasn't easy coming out of this small town, but right. there were a lot of examples. Mm-hmm. And then you were able to connect with a lot of people who are successful successful right now. And that's actually going into what you're doing. Right. So I want to just shout out people like Wiz. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I definitely want to shout out and say rest in peace to people like Mac Miller, yeah. Jimmy yeah. Wapo, like yeah. you were there in the very yeah. beginning. And, you know, yeah. the, and that rest that helped Wapo. that helped you grow with your, your career. What is something that you saw in working with them? that you still apply right now to this day to yours, your career. Yeah, facts. Um, so, <clears throat> so first of all, rest in peace, Mac. Like, I would say our relationship was probably the closest to his camp. Um, but what I seen was, like, in, in Mac, I seen a early star power. Um, you know what I'm saying? It's just, like, it's almost just, like, he he didn't try. Like, you know what I mean? He just, like, lit up rooms. He didn't try. He was just himself. And uh, so I, I acknowledged, like, what Star Power was at, at that time. And then with Wapo, he just reminded me of, like, he really reminded me of Lil Wayne. He showed me what, like, work ethic was. He was, like, one of the young niggas that, like, you could just tell he was so hungry, like, so aggressively hungry. Like, yo, bro, I remember we was at a studio session. He was charging people, like, 300 for features. And he had a line around the corner. In a st- and, like, bro, he literally was, he didn't give niggas no trash where he just freestyled some wax shit. He was literally cranking out features wow. back to back to back. He was something special. So, um, you know, shout out to him and rest in peace to him. And then Wiz, Wiz, bro, it's funny because, like, me and Wiz, we, at, like, very early on, we was in, like, the same categories and, like, the little hip-hop things and all that. And I would say Wiz, is, his influence on me was he made me the believer. He was the one who showed, like, Pittsburgh could have a star. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, before him, there wasn't really... We had some big-name producers and stuff, but, like, musically, there wasn't, like, a star. And, like, Wiz showed... For me, that's all I need. I just need to see, like, it could happen. If I could see it could happen, like, I believe in that. And, like, you know, seeing us believing, that's, like, kind of my premise in life. And seeing him be successful, not just, like, regular successful. Like, he was, like, mega star successful. Like, right. big records and all of that. So, and it's like, yo, he literally, like, I was you know this close to him so look where he's at now so he was like inspirational and and you could just believe that says a lot because you know pittsburgh you know i'm not i'm not taking no shots but for Mm -hmm. someone from new york i guess the 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 most successful the biggest people i would say would be like terry bradshaw and fucking (laughs) hans ward and Mm -hmm. troy palomalu because motherfucker i wanted that hair i still want that hair god damn strong hairline shout out to urban shout out to urban pittsburgh Irv, you got a strong hairline Irv used to have the palomalu low-key oh my god you know fuck all y'all with some hairlines i ain't seen mine in (laughs) nine ten years fuck all y'all man fuck all y'all but um the reason why i brought all that up is because you're seeing a lot of that that those beginning stages of success and people really gravitate into the music, man. Mm-hmm. Um, you also have a clothing line. Like, you've actually took the business and branched off into other areas, fashion-wise and mm-hmm. being able to create videos and, and do directing and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Uncle Luco on the build. You know, yeah, he's not in the building right now. In spirit. Big Luco. But, you kills. know, shout out to Luco, man. Yeah. This is what I want to do. I want to get into some music. Uh, I do want to know, what are you listening to right now? What can I play? Who, who are you fucking with musically man i'm listening not 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 baptist church music though i'm talking about (laughs) hip-hop i go i'll go from benny to gunner to roddy to you know anything that's that's really popular and then really my crew tommy cole stuff like that you know just Mm -hmm. hometown stuff but but i i'm i'm from the era where i appreciate the bar so benny and them and that energy's lit you know what i'm saying but i think it's like an uncommon thing that people like i don't think people believe that gunner and them be rapping but really they be rapping gunner and thug like i i like that shit too you so. know what it is is a key is a certain key like you have to kind of program your ear to it yeah. and then you'll hear it yeah if you just go to be out here be on your pro hip-hop 
80, 90s, yeah. purest shit is just not going to register. But you got you to gotta program you listen, your ear for it. If you listen for it, boys is you'll hear boys, exactly yeah. everything because they skating all over that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to play Timeless. Shout out to Benny the Butcher. You know what I'm saying? Um, Bird and the Proof is out right now. We're going to get into this Timeless joint. Benny the Butcher along with Lil Wayne and Big Sean. I think that covers a lot of different people at the yeah. same damn time. Yeah. He's Cash Cow Romo. It's great, Rizzy. We out here right now on the grind set of Shade 45. Keep it locked. We're doing something a little different, man. You know, I want to make sure that I highlight really dope talent that, that's out here. And, uh, you know, for the people who can't see it right now, I just want to acknowledge that Cash Cow Romo has a pair of Uptowns on. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? He, he's in Harlem with some hey, Uptowns. Homage. You know, it, it, he, he went ahead and followed the rules. Some yeah. of you motherfuckers don't even know what I'm talking about, but it's all good. <laughs> Just look at the pictures in the video when you get a second, all right? Yeah. Look, we um we still have music that we're going to get into, but I, I do want to cover, like, what the... I guess what the program is. What's the mm -hmm. direction going into 2021? Because, yo, usually we'd be moving around. You know, know what I'm saying? We'll Everywhere. we'll connect in different states. But, City, you know, yeah. because of this fucking pandemic, we got to stay six feet apart. We got masks all over the place. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? So how do you plan to continue getting the good word of Cash Cow Romo out? Yeah. Um, we've just been trying to be creative and be thoughtful. So it's like, yo, if we're limited to moving around, I should be... Let's just be uh, thoughtful about what we're doing and, like, really just build so that whenever it um, freezes, like, the demand's there that we can move around. Like, just let's build demand. And with that, it's like, however, however's clever, bro. I used to be, you know, my mindset used to be like, yo, I got to rap. I got to be a lit rap. Like, man, like, a friend of mine had told me, he was talking to me, and he was like, yo, man, you and Luco are so bossed up, bro. Like, y'all just be moving crazy. He's like, people got to see that. Like, people got to see y'all to cash cows. So, like, really, it's any angle, bro. I, you know, I get into um, marketing on the internet. I do some of that for people. Um, uh, the clothing line, obviously, cash cow clothes. You know what I'm saying? I got producers with me, videographers. So, any way we could build a relationship and offer some work, which is something I learned some things from watching you, man. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. No, I, I appreciate I, you that. Know, I, I, I type in all the zooms and all that. And just uh, make sure I get 10%, please. <laughs> <laughs> please. For sure. But, you know, just coming to the table, instead of coming, you know, asking and looking for help, you come to the table with gifts and with, and with, with something to offer. So, I feel like having all these different services and different things. You know, I, I open conversations with my with my clothing line. And I might not have did that if I just ran up on somebody like, yo, I rap, check me out. Like, you know what I'm right. saying? But they might be inclined to be like, yo, I like that car, I like that shirt. And then we can have a conversation from there. So that's that's really how I, I got to tell you, man. And let me, I, I think if someone would have said cow print, I would have been like, yo, yeah. country. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Or something like that. But I remember we were doing something, maybe we were at the Trap Museum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, you gave me a handkerchief handkerchief mm -hmm. that was a cow print. And people just kept asking me, yo, what's that about? What's that about? What's that about? And that was the moment, not that I didn't believe in you, but mm -hmm. I definitely believed in the direction. So, mm -hmm. And that's just one part of everything that you have going on, bro. And I, I just want to be able to support you with that. You know, people Appreciate think sometimes, you. you know, friendships and you just want to put bullshit out on the platform it doesn't work like that right but you definitely come to the table with a lot of talent Thank whether you, it be audio visual fucking tangible with clothes because i am i in this fucking jacket <laughs> i don't even know if you're gonna make it out the studio with that shit you know what i'm saying but yo um cash cow romo let's let's do this man i want everybody to tap in with you what are the best ways and please promote instagram yeah. twitter and yeah. your website whatever it is i want people to get familiar with everything that you have going on Thank you very much. So, um, Instagram, R0M0, um, www.cashcowclothes.com, Cash Cow Clothes on Instagram as well, uh, Twitter, Power Express, Facebook, Cash Cow Romo, YouTube, Cash Cow Romo. Um, I want under a, a name change. I used to go by Pyrex Press, so you'll see that here and there. But it's Cash Cow Romo going forward. You can find it on all platforms that way. And we we also have associations, man. Like people within the family on the team, man. Yeah. I just want to shout them out real quick. So if you see these names or you hear it, just know it's all yeah. together. Yeah. So um, definitely shout out to. I want to give a special shout out to Irv Tendaji. You know what I'm saying? Um, Irv MGM on Instagram. Uh, Big Luco, uh, Kills. You know Tommy Cole. You know, man, my little section, they're going to be so piped up, man. The whole Southwest PA, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, man, you know. But uh, the best way to find me, I, I feel like you find me, you find everything, man. So R0M0 on Instagram. 
Well, I appreciate you stopping through, bro. My For dog. real, man. It's good to see you. And I, let me tell you something. In this pandemic shit, please. I know you don't always get to physically see somebody, so you got the FaceTime stuff. But this right here, this shit made my year because this is family right here. Make sure you tap in with him. Make sure you tap in with us. If you missed this interview in any way, shape, or form, you could go ahead and download that Sirius XM map. It's going to be up there. You're going to be able to see this fucking jacket for now. Will he walk out with it? I don't know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But make sure you go ahead and check that out on the Sirius XM map. Just search Great Rizzy Search. Cash Cow Romo, Sirius XM, Shave 45. You can listen yeah, yeah. to it on your time on demand. Follow us at Shave 45, at Great Rizzy. Put the notifications on so you know exactly what we got it going on, and you'll be the first one. And by the way, let me just say this one more time. Fuck Pittsburgh Irv's hairline. <laughs> I want to be clear about that. It's Great Rizzy. We out here, bro. Another grind set is Jim PVA. Yeah.